Gus had spent his days fishing. The boat rocked back and forth in its familiar lull. Gus was just settling in for a day of fishing when he noticed something unusual floating around in the water. After years and years spent on his boat, he knew these waters like the back of his hand. He reached out and pulled it out of the water. In all his years, he had never seen anything like it. It was a porcelain doll, and it looked so lifelike. Hello everyone, and welcome to our latest bone chilling episode. Before we give you the details of this horrific journey, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Click on that little bell icon so that you never miss a story. The busy days were taking a toll on them. All Jessica White and her partner Josh wanted a good vacation. After some research and planning, they found the perfect leisurely spot, Murphy's Holiday Camp, located in Matata, New Zealand. Jessica couldn't wait to sink her feet in the warm sand. She was dying to feel the ocean breeze in her hair and to breathe in the ocean's scent. Most importantly, she couldn't wait to make wonderful memories with her partner and her 19 months baby. But she didn't know back then that the memories made at the beach would haunt her for the rest of her life. As the day of their vacation drew closer, the anticipation grew sky high. Even little Malachi, the toddler, could feel the excitement in the air. Jessica was in a daze of daydreams, imagining relaxing in the sun and dipping her feet in the water. She would make little sandcastles with Malachi and lie by the evening fire with her loving partner. The long-awaited day came. Everything was ready and perfect. They arrived at the campsite without any trouble on the road. Josh began to set up the tent and Jessica and Malachi lent him a hand. Things were all set in a few moments. All that was left was to enjoy the beautiful beach. Josh decided to put his fishing skills to the test. He took out his fishing line, put it into the water and waited. Jessica stretched herself out and relaxed. But fishing was a much too boring task for little Malachi and he definitely wasn't in the mood to lie around like mommy. He wanted adventure. They were in a strange, sandy and watery place and his curious little mind wanted to explore. He couldn't stop staring at the ocean. He was fascinated by the waves crashing into each other. The sunlight shimmering off the waves only made it prettier. His little mind was buzzing with questions. This water was so very different from the water at home. It wasn't long before Jessica and Josh would notice their baby's fascination with the ocean. Oh no you don't, Jessica laughed as she scooped Malachi away from the waves for the hundredth time. No matter how many times she dragged him back, he would somehow find a way to crawl back towards the waves. Malachi giggled in delight as he found a new pastime, digging holes in the beach. He sunk his tiny fingers into the sand and let out little peals of laughter as it slipped through his hands. Jessica watched her little boy with all the love a mother's heart could feel. Soon it was time to bed, but Malachi just wasn't ready to leave the beach. He kicked and screamed and made a big fuss in the way little fellows do when they want to keep playing. Eventually though, exhaustion would take over little Malachi and his eyelids started to get heavy. Jessica tucked in her precious little boy and joined Josh on the beach. Josh started a fire and the couple sank into whispered conversations. They spend their time outside, watching the stars come out one by one. Watching their baby sleeping peacefully in the company of a loving partner was all Jessica would ever want. Little did she know that in a matter of hours, she would learn the harsh lesson of not taking her happiness for granted. As the night grew darker and the fire burned low, Jessica and Josh were growing tired. They crawled into the tent and fell into a blissful sleep, with their baby boy safely tucked between them. And that's the last thing Jessica remembered, falling asleep nestled with her wonderful family. But the night was far from over. Little Malachi had a good nap. He woke up in the middle of the night and looked at his mom and dad sleeping peacefully. But he was in the mood for some beachy adventures. 
his tiny hands grappled with the tent zip and managed to get it open. Quietly, he slipped out into the night. Now was the time for some real fun. He would explore that strange water that mom always kept dragging him away from. Gus Hutt was an early bird. Nothing like a spot of fishing in the morning. He was spending another ordinary day on his boat, waiting for a couple of fish. He decided to get a little closer to the campsite today. As he settled in for the wait, Gus noticed something strange in the water. Was it a huge fish? For a few seconds, Gus imagined himself in the limelight with cameras flashing at the strange fish he had caught. But he soon snapped out of his daydreams when he realized it was a doll, a porcelain doll by the looks of it. He watched the doll bob up and down in the water. Maybe it belonged to someone on the campsite. As far as he could see, the doll was of fine making. It seemed a shame to just let it float about. So Gus reached out and pulled the doll out of the water. He grabbed the doll by the hand and hauled it aboard. It had dark hair, pale skin, and puffy cheeks. The doll was unbelievably realistic. It was so beautiful, and he couldn't wait to show it to his wife. She'd be blown away by the doll's lifelike features. As Gus was setting the doll down, something happened that sent chills up his spine. The doll suddenly let out a small squeak. Gus watched in horror as the doll started to move and squeak. What had he pulled out? And then it occurred to him. For a moment, Gus froze in place. Oh lord, this is a baby and it's alive. Gus later explained how the baby's face looked just like porcelain with his short hair wetted down. But when he let out a little sound, Gus couldn't believe his eyes. Breaking out of his stupor, Gus raced his boat to the shore. He prayed that he was not too late to save the child's life. Gus couldn't help but wonder whether the little one would make it. Doubling his speed, he drove his boat as fast as he could to the shore. He guessed that the baby must have come from the campsite. As he made his way there, he was relieved to find out that the baby was already showing signs of recovery. The child seemed a little cold and completely soaked, but beyond that, he seemed unharmed, despite the near-death experience. Gus called out to his wife, and the pair looked for the baby's parents. Luckily, there was only one couple on the campsite who had a little boy, and it didn't take long to find them. Jessica was sleeping soundly. The previous day's adventures had worn her out to the point that she was oblivious to the chaos going on outside. Suddenly, she was jolted awake to the sound of their tent shaking loudly while someone outside was shouting. For a moment, she thought that she was dreaming. She woke up Josh and unzipped the tent to find herself facing an elderly woman. Do you have a young son? The woman asked breathlessly. Jessica's eyes darted about the tent for her baby boy. Oh God. Malachi was missing. Where was he? Jessica panicked, her heart was pounding. The woman's next words stopped Jessica's heart. We just pulled a baby out from the sea. Jessica screamed in horror as she imagined the worse. Scrambling out the tent with Josh, Jessica followed the woman to the campground office. She frantically searched for her baby and found him safely cocooned in a towel, nestled into the camp owner's arms. His little face was purple and flushed as he let out a weak cry. As Jessica bounced her precious baby on her knee to keep him from drifting asleep, her mind kept wandering to dark places. What if I wasn't holding a healthy, breathing baby right now? Soon afterwards, the emergency services and the Matata Volunteer Fire Brigade showed up. It was a miracle. Other than for swallowing a lot of seawater, Malachi was perfectly fine. Picking her baby up, she nuzzled him and asked, why did you go swimming? Cheeky little Malachi gazed at his mom with his big sparkling eye and let out a gurgling laugh. Jessica hugged her baby. Thank God he was okay. Jessica and Josh thanked Gus and his wife over and over again. It was just pure luck that Gus was fishing closer to the campsite on that day. He was floating at a steady pace with a rip in the water. If I hadn't been there, or if I had just been a minute later, I wouldn't have seen him, Gus later explained. He was bloody luck, but he just wasn't meant to go. It wasn't his time. Soon the story started spreading around and Jessica was receiving a mixed bag of responses. Some people thought it was a miracle and were glad that the baby was safe, but a lot of people blamed the couple for their carelessness, saying that they should have paid better attention to their child. In a blog post, Jessica responded, stating, 
I'm sure others will judge us, but I'll keep sharing our story to encourage parents to be careful when near water with young children. Would you have pulled a seemingly porcelain doll out of the sea? Maybe you have a similar experience. Let us know in the comments below. And make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.